Welcome back to another episode of Hila's Eckhart with Sean. That's me. Thank you so, so much for being here and joining me on this journey of artistic discovery. So um, if you've been watching my channel, then you know I've been doing what I like to call a mock bloom or a mock bloom swipe because I haven't gone to the effort to try to do the expense and the whatnot of having different paint laying around because um, I like to stick with my Dutch pour paints. Um, well, I went and did it. I bought the stuff. So for this episode and every time I do one of these, you will find what I did down the recipe. So my um, pillow paint, this is the Bear Premium Plus Ultra Pure, sorry, I couldn't read it backwards. Pure white, it's number 8050. Okay, so that's what my pillow paint is going to be. My pouring medium, which I have mixed up right here, is, let me show you this. So this is a Bear Dynasty. Okay, and it is the number on it, it's the deep base and it's number 3653. And I don't know. We're gonna see how it works. Um, that is mixed, oops, sorry, wasn't quite ready. It's mixed um, a three to one with this polycrylic, the Minwax water-based polycrylic clear gloss, okay? So it was three parts of the bare deep base, one part of the polycrylic, and that is my pouring medium. That's what I have in here. So my colors, and I haven't mixed any of them yet. I'm going to let you guys watch me mix like one of them or two of them. I'll mix the rest of them offline or I'll speed you up or something. But my colors are going to be, I have Deep Magenta by Artist Loft. I have Brilliant Yellow by Artist Loft. I have uh, Metallic Cobalt Blue. Yep. Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. I have Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics. And I have Bright Gold by Folk Art. And my other one is, so I mixed, this is Burnt Sienna by Artist Loft. Mixed with just a little bit of my Rose Gold for my Deco Art Dazzling Metallics. Okay? And so that is those. So here's this magenta. Oh, if you guys can see in this cup how much like paint is in there, like not a whole lot. Um, and so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in there. Um, if I remember correctly, I think this is supposed to be a one to one. So it just needs to look about like one to one and then we'll stir it and see if it's the right thickness, okay? So that's the magenta. Um, so this way you can see it. It's the bright yellow. Okay. This is the uh, Burnt Sienna with the Rose Gold. And, uh, it needs to look like it's about one to one. Yep. My paint, I mix my paints about the same way I cook, okay? So this is how. <laughs> um, everybody likes my cooking, so. I do actually, it did actually measure everything for the pouring medium itself. So don't get me wrong there. There's some things. This is the bright gold. Dioxazine purple. Okay. 
All right, so let's set that right there. Take my handy dandy sticks and stir, stir, stir. Now, that is really, really thick, which means I don't have enough of something in there. Um, that means my pouring medium, either my pouring medium is too thick, or I don't have enough pouring medium in there. So I think my pouring medium seems to be thinner than that. So we're gonna go with I don't have enough pouring medium. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little more pouring medium there. Whoops. Let's see how that works. Okay. Uh, still not quite. Now I know when I watch these other people who've been doing these for a really long time, their their paints really are kind of thick, except for the cell activators. So. See, and that is like it doesn't even really fall off almost. Um, okay, let's try another one and see what we come up with. Let's try the bright gold. Trim straight from the sides, get that white stuff off of there. That at least just, I, I can get a little bit of stringiness coming off of my, and so I think that's a much better texture, but I think my bright gold, the paint itself is a little thinner because I think that's the texture that I want to have. Based on everything else I've been looking at. So I'm gonna see if I can't get these others to agree with that. So I have a little bit of this left, so when we're all done, I will put that in a container. And I'll mix some other colors or something. Okay, so give me just a second. Let me move you guys down to my spinner and my tile. Hold on. Didn't like how that worked out. So I thin down my paints and with some more corn medium. Zine purple. One more 
more time. Again, coming across the other way. see some of those cells popping up and out of there? I think that this is going to actually turn out really well. see like, we've got most of our colors over here so we're going to try to tilt this this way some now I'm loving the way it looks I just wish it was all the way across over here Right. 
this is really cool way out here, right? But I'm loving this. My cells aren't necessarily as tight as me. Them to the surface so we can get them. There's one right there. Big one right there. You see the little little spots? Those were all little tiny bubbles. Thank you again for joining me on this journey of artistic discovery. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Alrighty. See you next time.